Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 5 of chapter Measurement. In this part 5, we will learn measurement of mass. When we talk about measurement, we do measurement of length, measurement of weight or mass and measurement of capacity. Students, in part 1 and part 2 of this chapter, we did measurement of length. In part 3 and part 4 of this chapter, we learn measurement of capacity. Now, in this part, we will learn measurement of mass or weight. Let's start with the units to measure mass. First unit is milligram, which is denoted by mg. Milligram is used to measure very light things, for example, safety pin and feathers. Second unit to measure mass is gram, which is denoted by g. Gram is used to measure light things. For example, weight of gold jewelry and small books are measured in gram. And third unit to measure mass is kilogram, which is denoted by kg. Kilogram is used to measure heavy things like sack of vegetables, sack of rice and sack of pulses. So students, to summarize, Milligram is used to measure very light things, gram is used to measure light things and kilogram is used to measure heavy things. So let's start with the conversion of mass units. First, let's see how to convert kilogram into gram. Students, 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram. So to convert kilogram into gram, we will multiply by 1000. Students, on the basis of this relationship, few more relationships can be established between kilogram and gram. First is 1 by 2 kg or half kilogram equals to 500 gram. Second is 1 by 4 kg equals to 250 gram. And third relationship is 3 by 4 kg equals to 750 gram. Now students, let's do an exercise. Question is, how many times will you use following weight to measure 1 kilogram? First weight given is 100 gram. So students, how many times will we use this 100 gram weight to measure 1 kilogram? Yes, 10 times because 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram and 1000 divided by 100 equals to 10. Next weight given is 250 gram. So how many times will we use this 250 gram weight to measure 1 kilogram? Yes, 4 times because we know 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram and 1000 divided by 250 equals to 4. So students, we will use this weight 4 times to measure 1 kilogram. Next weight is 500 gram. So students, let's divide 1000 by 500 and we get answer as 2. So we will use this weight 2 times to measure 1 kilogram. And the last weight given is 200 grams. So students, let's divide 1000 by 200 and answer comes out to be 5. So we will use this weight 5 times to measure 1 kilogram. Next question is, vegetable seller has the measuring weights of 
100 gram, 200 gram and 500 gram. Use these weights to measure the following. Students, first vegetable seller has to measure 700 gram of potatoes. So to measure 700 gram of potatoes, which measure will he take first? Yes, 500 gram. And now 700 minus 500 is 200. So let's take second weight as 200 gram. So to measure 700 gram of potatoes, the vegetable seller will use weights of 500 gram and 200 gram. In the second scenario, the vegetable seller has to measure 800 gram of potatoes. So first, he takes 500 gram. Now, 800 minus 500 is 300. So to measure 300 gram of potatoes, vegetable seller will first use 200 gram and then 100 gram. So students, to measure 800 gram of potatoes, the vegetable seller uses all these three weights. Now let's see the conversion of kilogram into gram. Question 1 is convert 17 kilogram into gram. Students, we just learnt 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram. Therefore, 17 kilogram equals to 17 into 1000 gram which is equals to 17,000 gram. Next question is convert 11 kg 770 gram into gram. Students, 11 kg 770 gram means 11 kg plus 770 gram. Now, 770 is already in gram. So, let's convert 11 kilogram into gram. We know 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram. So, 11 kg equals to 11 into 1000 gram which is equals to 11,000 gram. Now, let's add both and we get the answer as 11,770 gram. Question 3 is convert 9 1 by 2 kilogram into gram. Students, 9 1 by 2 kilogram means 9 kilogram plus half kilogram. We know to convert kilogram into gram, we will multiply by 1000. So let's multiply 9 with 1000. And we just learned half kilogram equals to 500 gram. Therefore, we get 9000 gram plus 500 gram which is equals to 9500 gram. Question number 4 is convert 83 by 4 kilogram into gram. Students, 83 by 4 kilogram means 8 kilogram plus 3 by 4 kilogram. Let's convert 8 kilogram into gram by multiplying with 1000. And we just learned 3 by 4 kg equals to 750 gram. So we get 8000 gram plus 750 gram which is equals to 8750 gram. Now students, let's see the conversion of gram into kilogram. Students, 1000 gram equals to 1 kilogram. So to convert gram into kilogram, divide by 1000. To convert gram into kilogram, it is very important that you know how to divide by 1000 without using long division method. So students, I suggest that you watch my video of part 3 of chapter division to understand the same. Question 1 is, convert 5500 gram 
into kilogram and gram students to convert this gram into kilogram let's divide by 1000 and we learned in chapter division that on division by 1000 the digits at ones tens and hundreds place become remainder and remaining digits become question so here in this question 500 becomes remainder and 5 is the question and question is the kilogram and remainder is the gram so here answer is 5 kilogram 500 gram next question is convert 7680 gram into kilogram and gram so let's divide 7680 by 1000 to convert this into kilogram so on division by 1000 680 becomes the remainder and 7 becomes the question so we get the answer as 7 kilogram 680 gram question number 3 is convert 80075 gram into kilogram and gram so to convert 80075 gram into kilogram we will divide by 1000 and on division by 1000 75 becomes the remainder and 80 becomes the question so we get the answer as 80 kilogram 75 gram so students this is how we convert gram into kilogram now let's see the conversion of gram into milligram students 1 gram equals to 1000 milligram so to convert gram into milligram we will multiply by 1000 now let's solve few questions to understand the same question 1 is convert 5 g 170 mg into mg student 5 g 170 mg means 5 g plus 170 mg as you can see 170 is already in mg So let's convert 5 g into mg by multiplying it with 1000. So we get 5000 mg plus 170 mg which is equals to 5170 mg. Question 2 is convert 3 3 by 4 g into mg. Students 3 3 by 4 g means 3 g plus 3 by 4 g so let's convert 3 g into mg by multiplying it with 1000 and 3 by 4 g equals to 750 mg so we get 3000 mg plus 750 mg therefore we get the answer as 3000 750 mg so students this is how we convert gram into mg now let's see the conversion of mg into gram students 1000 mg equals to 1 gram so to convert mg into gram we will divide by 1000 So let's solve few questions to understand the same. Question one is convert three thousand five hundred milligram into gram and milligram. Students, as we just learned, to convert milligram into gram, we will divide by one thousand. So let's divide three thousand five hundred by one thousand, and on division by one thousand, the digits are. Ones, tens, and hundreds place become the remainder, and remaining digits become the question. So here, five hundred is the remainder, and three is the question. And the question 
is the gram and remainder is the milligram. So we get the answer as 3 gram 500 milligram. Let's do one more question. Convert 13,000 milligram into gram and milligram. So to convert milligram into gram, we will divide by 1000 and on division by 1000, we get the remainder as 0 and questioned as 13. So students, since the remainder is 0 here, we get the answer as 13 grams. So in this video, we learned units to measure mass and their conversion with the help of few examples. Students, this is the summary for the conversion of units to measure mass. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.